Anyway, I got a big hole, kind of a big hole here. Um, whew, I went shopping today by myself and I went several places. First, I went to Target. That's really hard because I can't remember <laughs> what I got at different places. Well, at Target, I got this bowl for $3. That was really cute. And then I got myself a face mask. This is not all Halloween, but some of them are Halloween things. Also got my favorite mascara that I've been looking for for the longest time. Really happy to find that. I got some of these raspberry fig bars that me and my son like. Those are always good. That's more Mod Podge because I was almost out for um, projects and for preserving fall leaves. What else did I get at Target? Oh yeah, this for decorating cookies. I'm going to make some Halloween cookies soon. Um, I think that, no, one more thing at Target. Two more things actually, I got some cloths fix for my son, which is not that exciting, but I also got for my son a green shirt because he's going to be Luigi this year. I already got him the hat and the gloves, but I thought this would be good for him to wear. So yeah, that was Target. Um, then I went over to Joanne Fabrics and I got a really good deal on this. Because I was working on something I wanted to finish. This is the type of um, yarn that I used to make this blanket. It's a really nice cozy blanket. And so I was working on making a scarf for myself. So hopefully this will be enough to help me finish that. Yeah. So it was a really good deal too. I didn't know Eddie Bauer made yarn. But it's Eddie Bauer brand. And it was like... Um, ten dollars with twenty five percent off, so it's only like seven something. Um, what else did I get? At Joanne's. I got a gift for a friend, which I'm not going to show, just in case she watches the videos. Um, two ninety nine, two ninety nine. Oh, I'm thinking this was also a really good deal because most of their stuff was like forty percent off. So I get these plates. It's nice to have like little plates around the house. I'm always looking for something that can be like gothically inclined. So you get two plates for $12.99. So 40% off is like six something. Really good deal. Mm, yeah, something like six or seven dollars. But anyway, I'm just really happy with these. They're really cute. They're nice sturdy. Um, I'm not sure. They're like plastic, but they're like an acrylic plastic. So very sturdy. Very nice. Really happy with those. <clears throat> I think that's all I got at Joanne's. I went across the street to Ross. They did not have much at all in the way of Halloween stuff. A lot of the stores are shoving their Halloween stuff like into one little section. And instead of having it throughout the store like they used to. So like it's really lame. Christmas is taking over, which I love Christmas, but I'm not ready for it to take over Halloween when it's still October. Like, it's still early October. It's only the second week. So why are they doing that? But retail. Anyway, I thought this was really cute. I need some more dish towels when life gives you leaves jump. They look like they're going to be better than the other dish towels I bought. More absorbent. Well, those are really cute. And then I got a candle which is a, a pumpkin donut candle. Um, smells super good. Oh, it's actually Yankee Candle Company. And that was pretty cheap too. It's only like three bucks. And then I went to Starbucks in Target and got a pumpkin spice latte. And I guess this is like a celebration of like 25 years or something of pumpkin spice lattes. I didn't realize it was that long and they were giving out like temporary tattoos. 
pumpkin spice latte. So they gave me one of those. That was kind of fun. <sighs> oh, I also forgot going back to Target. I picked this up because it was 50% off a Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice. Sometimes pumpkin spice coffees are hit or miss. Like some of them don't taste as good. But I, you know, kind of trust Dunkin' Donut flavors. I've never had this one before, but I think it's going to be good. And it was on sale, like I said, it was like $3, $3.89 or something like that. It's really cute. Look at the little pumpkins. So yeah, that was tar Target as well. And then I went over to the mall. Um, oh wait, I almost forgot. I did get something at TJ Maxx. I went over to TJ Maxx before I went to the mall and I got this puzzle. It is a 3D puzzle. I'm going to attempt to do it. I really don't like doing puzzles more than 100 pieces because it just takes too long and I don't have anybody else who likes to do puzzles with me. I mean I do but sometimes we can't always get together all the time but I mean, in the house, I don't really have anybody who likes to get the puzzles done. So, um, basically, it's, these are activities for myself. It's really cute. I it had three different Nightmare Before Christmas ones. I chose this one because I like that it had the mirror on it, and he's one of my favorite characters. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's a, a 3D. You can't really tell on the camera that it's 3D, but it looks really cool. So it's 500 pieces for $7.99. I'm going to attempt to do 500 pieces because it's really hard to find 100 piece puzzles. And every time I try to look for them, they're like little tiny kid ones. And they don't really have the themes that I want. So I'm going to do what I can. And then I went over to the mall, like I said. And I went there specifically to get a puzzle. I went over there to get a puzzle that I specifically passed up last week, and um, they were having a um, sale like Go Games for puzzles, where you buy one, get one for 50% off, so I was like, yay, and there was one that I almost got, it was a, a Ladybug puzzle, Ladybug and Cat Noir, but then I realized it was a floor puzzle, which means it was probably the really big pieces. I can't get down the floor, at least not right now, so <laughs> it wasn't something that I really wanted. Because um, I was going to get this, that one, which is $20, and then this one for 50% off, but it didn't work out that way. So I found another one. So this is the one I really wanted to get, was a Lost Boys puzzle. 500 pieces, and even though, like I said, 500 pieces is challenging for me, I think this one will be pretty easy, considering it doesn't have a lot of background. I mean, it's got a little bit of background with the characters here, but mostly it's faces, and I think that will be pretty easy to do. And then I got this one. Do you remember those cereal boxes that we they had? Uh, I think they still sell them. They're like a bunch of little ones. I used to love getting those when I was a kid. So they're like in cereal box puzzle form. There's Honey Nut Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Tricks, Cocoa Puffs Cheerios, and Lucky Charms. So I thought it was super cute. And the lady gave me a discount because she said the box was ruined. Plus she gave me the 50% off. So I was like, that's really nice. I didn't even ask for that. She just did that. So that was my haul. Um, thanks for watching. And maybe I'll do some more videos Showing you progress on puzzles or something. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'm having a wonderful October. And spooky season. And I will see you later.